I'm Lynn Hunsaker with Clear Action Experience Leadership Mastery. Welcome to this pivotal foundation for a shared vision of automatic experience excellence among your C-suite and board, VPs and experts, directors and managers of customer, partner, and employee experience. So I was a speaker at the second annual customer satisfaction conference that was jointly managed by the American Society for Quality and American Marketing Association for many years. And at that time, I was in the strategic planning department of a company ranked in the Fortune, uh, ranked about 250 in the Fortune 500. And uh, in that role, I was uh, leading customer satisfaction as a task force for all of our many countries and product lines to figure out how we wanted to define our customer satisfaction method methodology. And uh, while well, that was a really pivotal uh, point in my career, obviously, because I was uh, specifically a voice of the customer manager in 1991. So, uh, you know, what happened is in the late 1990s, everyone got enthusiastic, just over the roof about CRM, Customer Relationship Management Software. If we want to be the preferred brand, we want to be recommended, we want to uh, have the highest uh, growth rate in our industry. We really need to be paying attention to trust, values, and value. So here's a peek at that uh, Edelman Trust Barometer that I mentioned with more than one third of people distrusting business and about two thirds uh, basing their decisions for working, uh, buying and investing on beliefs and values in, in common with them. Now here you can see the customer satisfaction index in America drip drop, dropping off since 2017 and we have not been this low since 2006. So I think that's a big wake up call to consider what's working and what's not in the overall scheme of things. Now, Bruce Temkin has run uh, maturity studies for the past 10 years or so. And every year it's the same. Less than 10% of companies in the mature phases of uh, customer experience management and about 80% of people saying that they're incompetent for these six key competencies for how to drive ROI in customer experience management. I like to think of it in three categories, starting with touch point management, which is aimed at revenue, or if you're in employee experience or nonprofit or government, perhaps it's productivity in place of, re of revenue. But essentially what you're trying to do is reverse and offset churn because every month you have to show successive growth. So you need to make up for what went out the door and touch point management is uh, one of those key ways to do that. Then second, we have experience management with the aim of brand allies. You want your customers, your employees and your partners to advocate your brand. And we do this through increasing referrals and quick wins. And then thirdly, What's needed now is something more, experience leadership, which aims at lifetime value maximization for customers, partners, and employees. And we do this by preventing roadblocks to value. So what you need to know for 2020s and beyond is a different angle on metrics and leading indicators, more preventive, more collaborative, more systemic and sustained. We're de-siloizing the company by creating a consistent thread of customer-centric uh, thinking and actions across everything done. And that's what we mean by embedding customer insights into the culture and driving accountability for implementation. So your voice of the customer and intelligence needs to support all of the foregoing items. When you have a very clear understanding of these first three items, your voice of the customer takes on a very different angle to be more transformative, to be more collaborative, to be more uh, insightful and uh, stimulating for managers of all types, every nook and cranny of your company to pay attention to what's going on with customers and the intelligence, the, the patterns that you're sharing with them, 
that are quite interesting. They can't wait to hear your next report and see what they can do about it. So strategy in experienced leadership is bringing this all together in a cohesive flow so that everything builds upon one, one another. And we're not just managing these things in pockets, but actually having coordination and collaboration across all the various places where experience is managed in a company. Making the intended customer experience or intentional CX your North Star for how the C-suite runs the business and how everyone makes their decisions and handoffs across your company. It's, it's an answer to all of the things that we've just been talking about with trust and value and an ongoing trajectory of progress in experience management. So what we start off with is, as the basis is the CCXP exam course because it addresses these five competencies that have been the thread for the past 35 years. And it goes beyond what's in the CCXP exam criteria far beyond because with every concept, I'm pointing out what's additionally needed for experienced leadership, which is not really additional, it's a tweak. It's a twist, it's a, it's a, a bit of a pivot or a, a slight adjustment in your thinking and the way that you're going about things. Now, for people who don't need the certification, they're not on that path, experience management maturity course is essentially identical just taking out the certification part. And for people who have already gotten a certification of any type from wherever, or maybe they've been uh, judges and winners in awards or keynoters, uh, authors, maybe they've been in this, this field for a long time, they can learn experienced leadership with more sophistication and a lot of extras in the experienced leadership for experts and executives. Now for people who don't want all of that uh, sophistication. Maybe they're new college grads or uh, uh, less experienced managers. Maybe they're new to this field or they could be also working with someone in experienced management that they are a, an experienced enthusiast or they just want to know. Perhaps they're selling to people in the customer experience field or employee experience field and it would be very uh, advantageous if they would understand, you know, <laughs> the greater, the broader context of experience management. So in that case, we have automatic experience excellence. So that's at the foundational level. Okay, so we're covering foundational, intermediate and advanced levels. And for the C-suite, I pulled highlights from all the key points and packaged that in a two hour workshop where it's uh, delivered remotely, live, and we cover three main areas with an exercise for each one, and that includes their takeaways and conversation, but uh, it's a two-hour session and people have loved it. So these uh, six courses, because there's the additional uh, version for your Experience Management Council or Steering Committee, these six are the modernized vision or automatic experience excellence. And by that, I mean, when you prevent issues from happening, well, it's a great experience because customers' realities match their expectations. So there's no gap. The brand is has high integrity and therefore it's an excellent experience, whether you're a, a, a discount brand or a luxury brand or anywhere in between. So automatic experience excellence we're aiming for, and these six uh, versions of the same content allow everyone in your organization to get on the same page at the same time in their own way, because their self-paced resources are right-sized for them. Or maybe you're uh, doing your own uh, live sessions in terms of uh, application exercises, and making contests, lunch and learns, extended staff meetings to go over certain things together. Well, there's so much content that is identical or nearly the same in every single uh, version of this that it's easy to have those uh, conversations and have a really rich cross-pollination. So this lays the foundation for what. What should you be doing? 
but it doesn't go into a lot of detail on how. It goes into some. But what we have for how to is called customer focused communication. Essentially, it's an internal collaboration course that is uh, either self paced or live. And you're learning how to drive to intended outcomes, how to check assumptions, how to communicate more effectively with uh, other functional areas who have a different uh, jargon and uh, you know mindset and maybe a different uh, idea of, of vision. So how do you get their cooperation? So this has been embraced by even the finance organization of a major health cor corporation, the sales organization, the service organization of uh, different places uh, in different countries. So customer-focused communication is one that you probably want to take a look at for increasing trust internally as well as externally. Or customer journey mapping. And so my... Uh, course that I facilitate with you on that actually co-creates an expectations persona, an expectations journey map, both of which are different from what you've ever seen, but they drive huge changes for the people who don't touch customers. And let's face it, if you look at the dispositioning of your service or your, your survey uh, findings, most of the big issues are caused by non-customer facing groups and we need to be figuring out how to engage them. Just so happens that's my specialty because when I was at Applied Materials for many years in the semiconductor industry, my whole job was engaging the non-customer facing groups because we didn't have customer service. We didn't have a contact center. All that was handled by our dedicated salespeople. And you want salespeople selling, not fixing stuff. So you want the non-customer facing groups to prevent things that need fixing. So that was my huge emphasis and I pass that all along to you. We have uh, rapid action templates in the masterminds, both at the CCO level quarterly and also in 90 minute sessions any week that you want to join that uh, publicly or privately. And the capstone is really the experience value exchange, which is a hybrid of self-paced and live uh, experiences, templates, uh, forums, and resources of all types, usually in five minute to 20 minute, up to 40 minute bites. So it's something you can tap into every day or anytime 24 seven. The competencies here are really about what's needed to take your maturity to the next level in driving engagement internally. How do you get everyone on board? How do you get them to contribute their part to understand their ripple effect on customers and employees and partners? So it's about ease of business and ease of, of work. The, the bottom one should say ease of work. I've got a typo there. This is for your customer experience, customer success, employee experience, uh, and customer service and marketing teams. Any manager in any of those functions would thrive with the experience value exchange because of these competencies making their job easier and bringing them a lot more joy and satisfaction in all the collaboration and big results that it generates. So that's experience leadership mastery as we have it today. And just to remind you, it gets everybody on the same page for metrics. It gets everybody across the managers, directors, uh, experts, VPs, and the C-suite on the same page with improvement and design, culture and accountability, BOC and intelligence, and operationalized strategy as a team sport, engaging everybody in doing their part. Here's a quick peek at what you get in the self-paced resources for the foundational level, automatic experience excellence. So you can see that there's a, a, a pretty simple menu. That's all it is when they log in. And as they click each one, they're going to see uh, a series of videos or narrated presentations. And these are generally in segments of about 10 minutes each. There's a workbook that includes a provocative, a, a thought provoking question and or application exercise for every single slide. And then you'll see these uh, video segments laid out on the page so they can toggle between them quite easily. 
And if they leave, need to be interrupted for any other any reason, the next time they log in, it takes them exactly to where they left off. So in addition to that, they have 10 true and false questions and a, a continuous audio that they can listen to while working out or during their commute or whatever. So it's quite flexible and it uh, is a way to quickly get people on the same page because it puts it in short bites that are manageable and immediately applicable on your, the job with the help of this workbook. Let's take a peek at the next level, experience management maturity. So here you can see the same content, but it's expanded to include multiple choice quizzes, a quiz game, and topic mastery scenario questions. When you submit your scenario questions, I give feedback on every single one. And when you get 90% or higher on a scenario question and topic mastery, then you get a certificate for experience leadership. So uh, this is again for your director or intermediate level uh, people. And when they log into experience management class, uh, then they're going to see three videos instead of the five that you saw for the automatic experience excellence. So the content is generally the same, but there's quite a bit extra uh, slides in this one. And, uh, you know, it's more on the line, lines of 20 to, to 35 minutes for each video segment. The workbook it follows suit with the other one. And here you can also see that there's more goodies, case studies, links to templates and examples for a variety of subtopics, and then the overall summary. These concepts and techniques are absolutely universal. Every time I use the word customer throughout any course, you can replace that with member or associate or donor or constituent or employee or partner or whatever you call, call your people that you serve. Every time I talk about revenue, you can replace that word with productivity or other value that is germane to your organization. So clear action means engaging everyone and walking the talk. You know, during the pandemic, everyone was thinking about what's valuable in life. And for me, creating new content, thinking about new ways of uh, helping people to absorb a better way, helping to improve the, the whole world by having better experience management in organizations of all type is what I wanna do. So I repackaged all of my consulting wisdom and put it into training format or course format or sort short live session formats. And this is why it looks like training, but it's actually e-consulting. It's actually high powered, super rare advice. When you take experience leadership mastery, you're going to see hundreds of ways that you can be cutting costs, but in a smart way that actually uh, will be rewarded by customers. So take a look at our demo and let me know how I can help you. It's time to shift up to 2020's essentials for high profit customer, employee, and partner experience excellence. I welcome you to Experience Leadership Mastery. Looking forward to talking with you soon.